Hello, hello, and welcome back everyone to my channel. Let's look at our garden this weekend. Well, as I was mentioning previously, there is probably not much change from uh, what we've been seeing the last uh, couple of weeks. But if you still like listening to my voice and observing even smaller, tiny changes, then welcome to the ride. This is the first container with our kales that are still striving. A couple of um, lettuces and arugula that are doing fine. Love them, they look pretty. Uh, our mints are dead, pretty much almost. Just slightly more greenish, yellowish leaves. Otherwise, that's it. For the blueberries the blueberries are these ones are also like with the green pink ish leaves and our mm, perpetua is bare bare foot bare leaf <laughs> and that other one whichever the name is i don't remember that's it. <laughs> uh, it's all dropped the leaves. Almost all the leaves. The chandlers have dropped its their leaves a long time ago. And the strawberry is still blossoming. <laughs> you know it's so weird. It just keeps blossoming. And look at that berry. A strawberry. Amazing. Yeah, and we have the runners, that one of the runners is, you see, about to reach the soil. This one is kind of in the middle, and then I'm, I have those few, um, pretty much, more or less, feeling more or less uh, in their pots. Let's see. Maybe we could have some early strawberry early in the spring out of these ones. And I can work on these other pots now, since I have a few more runners. So I could plant, fill those up, I have four left. And I have at least two runners. So yeah, we are close to the prior um, storages. <laughs> now this strawberry here, it's also blossoming. Uh, I don't, uh, I, I'm not surprised about this one since it's probably so warm outside i would guess for this uh, time and it's ever bearing so it just keeps bearing flowering you know blossoming and let's see i don't see any berries though but it's understandable right the season is under white oh here you see we got those berries Yeah. And the flower is here. Maybe some more hiding over there on that side. The pink icing is holding strong, dropping some of the leaves and looking beautiful. The blueberry. Let's move back to the containers. This is the first one. Yeah, as I mentioned, pretty much the same story, but uh, millimeter by millimeter they are growing and getting larger. Arugulas and uh, lettuces and spinaches, and they are all covered or sprinkled with the blueberry leaves. Now the second container is looking like this, mostly arugulas. And mostly the same situation, as I mentioned last time, this uh, arugula that's older, it's given lots of, um, growing lots of leaves, so it's a nice candidate for a salad, but you know me, <laughs> I mean, I never end up getting to it. Now the peppers, I chopped quite a bit of the 
leaves that were already kind of like dead or um, almost dead. So now we can see the real picture of what survived. This one, there was one, I just chopped it to the ground. Here is the stick. Where is it? This is the stick that's left from it. The others, this one is pretty much, you know, dry. So uh, I'd probably have to pick it up and then get rid of the plant because there is nothing else on it anyways. And there's not gonna be any more growth on, on this pepper. With this one, probably the same story. You see it darkish here in the nook. So maybe I'm gonna have to just do the same for this one. The very first one, I chopped quite a bit of leaves, uh, but the pepper is looking beautiful. And I'm thinking it's, you know, here, it's a kind of like half getting darker. I see, just a little bit here, but on this side it's still okay. So maybe I'm still gonna keep it for now and see how it goes. That one, the largest, um, the tallest, it's still striving, has a few peppers. It's small, like they are so all small, of course, but it's still okay. I suspect it's because it's hiding behind the column that it's not getting so hit by the cold and freeze. Now this one, I chopped quite a bit of things and what it has is just the buds that I don't think are gonna flower. And this is the flower, but I don't know if it was pollinated or not. So I'm just keeping it since it's active and is more or less, you know, on the side of life. Now this one, almost no leaves left and just one pepper and the nook here is darker. So same story as with the first one. We'll see how it goes if in, if I'm gonna just get rid like I'm um, take it off or leave it. But for now I'm leaving it. And the last one is purely no there is one there is a tiny really one a uh, pepper that just got pollinated not that, that long ago otherwise it's plenty of uh, buds plenty of little peppers that could have you know could have uh, been joy to someone yeah i really hope i could give it away to someone to who has a greenhouse and could keep it over winter and enjoy the peppers yeah, so this is that. Now the kales part. I'd say nothing. I'd say all the same. I don't see any movement, no improvement, no deterioration. For this other one, I'd say again stagnation. Maybe just the the celery is getting kind of like maybe rooted again rooked it back again right because the, this leaf is kind of striving better uh, this larger one is probably gonna drop off but that one is not too bad so we'll see we'll see how long it's gonna last for the arugulas over here they are doing fine chives are the same no one touched them <laughs> i told you <laughs> I'm notorious for that. And the top layer is pretty much the same again. The spinaches are the same, just nothing. The kale is okay. This other one is looking beautiful. The spinaches are looking so beautiful. And the dill, I love it. And we have a maple leaf here. 
and this one is also beautiful the spinaches over here are crisp and green and the dill is just amazing and these ones as well and some of the lettuces are doing pretty cool quite large this kale is juicy and nice I'd say more on a stagnant side, same as this one, but uh, in a pretty good shape. A spinach, tiny spinach over here, and a couple over there, and lots of... Uh, yeah, moving from this side over to the other one. The kales that are left are looking like this. Lots of moss on this one, and like that. I've gotten rid of the pepper. Remember, I just had the stem, so I've just taken it away because there was no, no reason, you know, in having it. Another maple leaf, and that other kale, and. I've covered some of my dumpsters. Maybe that's gonna be my next dumpster. So I can, you know, use as much fertilizer as I can. Gonna add some of the banana peels and maybe some leaves and more. Yeah, so that's how beautiful, beautiful, awesome and nice garden is looking like right now. I hope you enjoy watching it together with me and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to click the bell icon beside the subscribe button to be notified about all new videos or live stream.